Bryce Hall is facing backlash once again, uh, but he doesn't really seem to be at fault this time. Here's everything we know. I'm Brianna Walmart. I'm Gabby Conti, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Influencers like Bryce Hall are being called out for making contests to fly lucky fans out to Los Angeles and then not following through with these plans. The first group of influencers called out for this alleged scheme was not a content house, as a follower on TikTok Room DM the account explaining that the collective posted a contest about flying two lucky fans out to Los Angeles and promised they would announce the winners on the 23rd of December. But instead of announcing the winners as they promised, their account just deleted the post about the contest, which was problematic, especially after the contestants spent money on entry fees for this vanishing contest. Well, after TikTok Room's post calling out not a content house, The Collective announced their winners. Uh, fans are absolutely not convinced, claiming that they only announced their winners because they got caught and believing that not a content house would have never picked any winners if no one called them out in the beginning. Uh, and this, you know, almost scam contest seemed to trigger another fan who believes he was scammed in a similar way uh, by Bryce Hall in the Sway House. And Gunnar Morgan, he made a video explaining the situation, calling out both Bryce and Not a Content House. And in this video, Gunnar rants what the bleep is wrong with these influencers, saying they, uh, they're going to fly their fans out, and if not, blank, do it. Uh, doing it, Gunner explains that he was victim to similar scams involving Bryce Hall in the Sway House, but luckily he never paid any entry fees. He went on to explain that Bryce had tweeted out that if his podcast hits number one, he will fly out one lucky winner out to Los Angeles to hang at the Sway House. Um, and this person just needs to show proof that they have sus subscribed to the podcast and are rating it. Well, Gunner went really above and beyond this simple request and he made a TikTok of himself explaining how he printed out hundreds of flyers for Bryce's podcast and put them around his small town. You could even see him in his TikTok handing out this flyer to people sitting in their cars in traffic telling them to listen to the podcast. Bryce even duetted with Gunner's video where he showed how he was promoting Bryce's podcast. In the duet, Bryce watches Gunner with pride and excitement, nodding his head along as uh, Gunner promotes the podcast. Apparently, Bryce had told Gunner that he won and that he was the lucky guy who would be coming to LA to hang out with the Sway House. So Gunner ended up quitting his job because his boss wouldn't let him get off to go to LA. And then Bryce left Gunner on red. So Gunner's complaining about the fact that he lost his job over this, that he spent a lot of money and time uh, editing this TikTok, printing out these flyers, promoting Bryce's podcast, and that he didn't get an answer from Bryce. Uh, Bryce commented back on TikTok Room's post of Gunner's video explaining his side of the situation. Uh, as Bryce said, quote, one, it's a pandemic right now. Two, we didn't hit number one. Three, didn't tell him when we were gonna fly him out. And four, uh, didn't tell him to quit his job for it. Guys, we wanna hear from you. What do you think about this situation? What are your thoughts? Let us know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Bruno Walmark and follow us at Hollywire for your 24 seven celebrity news.